Welcome to Roadfly TV, your latest automotive fix from Roadfly.com. Hi, I'm Charlie Romero from Roadfly.com, and welcome to this edition of Roadfly TV. We're about to test the all new 2009 Nissan 370Z. Yes, we are going to take it to the racetrack, but first, we're going to take it on the twisties here in Red Rock Canyon outside Las Vegas. Let's go see how she does. I imagine one of the goals of the Nissan designers was to get back to their roots of the original 240Z, which was a much smaller car than the, the outgoing 350Z. Now, so the new 370Z, Nissan has built a sports car that's four inches shorter. It's got about an inch wider track in the rear, and it is visually smaller to see the car on the road. In addition to being physically smaller, Nissan's taken some very important steps to make a lighter sports car. We now have an aluminum hood on the 370Z as well as aluminum doors and an aluminum hatch. The net effect is a 370Z that is 95 pounds lighter than the outgoing car. The 3.7 liter engine in the new 370Z is basically the same engine that Infiniti uses in the G37 Coupe. The main difference being a changed exhaust for the 370Z. With this new engine, we also get a new 7-speed automatic transmission and a 6-speed manual transmission, both of which get 18 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles per gallon on the highway. Nissan's introduced a really cool technology called Synchro Rev Match, and what it does is it blips the throttle for you during aggressive driving so that your, your gear shifts are more smooth. It matches the throttle to where the engine will be, the RPMs of the engine will be after the shift. So if you're downshifting from fifth to fourth, it blips the throttle to get the engine revs up. Nissan's chosen to use some materials which look probably a lot more expensive than they really are in here. The touch and the feel of the dash in these materials is really nice. The leather that's on the, uh, on the center stack here is very nice. And Nissan now has a touchscreen nav available and which is very easy to use controls. It's almost identical to the one found in the Infiniti G37. I want to comment on the seats. Now these sports seats have very high side bolsters which really help hold me in the seat. Additionally, Nissan has changed the angle of the seat so that I feel more planted in the seat and feel more secure under heavy braking. As we test the new 370Z today, Nissan's only announced base pricing. I don't have the option pricing for you. The base car is $29,930, and then there's a touring model, which is obviously going to be a few thousand dollars more. There's a sport package and a navigation package. Now, if you got a touring with the sport package and the navigation package, I anticipate the price it would co probably come in somewhere around $38,500, $39,000, which is still a tremendous value for all that this car has to offer. So we finally made our way over to the Spring Mountain Motorsports Park. We're getting ready to take the new 2009 Nissan 370Z out onto the track. We've got a whole new suspension. We've got a brand new six-speed manual transmission. I've got VDC turned off, so let's go. Nissan chose to showcase their 3.7 liter V6 workhorse in the new 370Z. It features VVEL, variable valve event and lift technology, which offers better performance and increased fuel economy. Gets 332 horsepower and 270 foot-pounds of torque. Some of the design inspiration for the new 370Z came from Nissan's recently introduced GTR supercar. See this cantilever effect right here for going from the A pillar to B pillar? That's all Nissan GTR. You'll also see GTR similarities in the design of the front spoiler and the air inlets. 
Now, since this is a sports package car, we're riding on 19 by nines with 245 millimeter rubber in front and 19 by tens on 275 millimeter rubber in the rear. We do have four piston calipers in the front and two piston calipers in the rear. Now that's an upgrade from the base 370Z package. Rear storage space is about the same, but it's much more usable for 2009. In the trunk, you'll also notice an aluminum cross member to help with structural rigidity. With the shorter wheelbase, the 370Z really felt more responsive on the track. I really felt more in control, and having that 332 horsepower sure didn't hurt any. At $30,000, it's a no-brainer. It's a tremendous value. Well, that's it for Roadfly TV. I'm Charlie Romero, and we'll see you next time. Roadfly.com, the Internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you.